Okay, here we're going to be looking at a schedule of non-cash financing and investing activities. And this is a supplemental schedule to the consolidated statement of cash flows. And for example here, Corporation P, the parent, and Subcorporation S, the subsidiary, are going to present consolidated financial statements for the year. And our example is going to be based on uh, Corporation P pay making a cash payment plus issuing stock here uh, to uh, purchase subcorporation S and that's going to be based on the year of acquisition here. So let's go over and look at our example here. Corporation P purchases 80% here of Corporation S and first they're going to pay a cash payment here of $310,000 and then they're going to also issue stock here to a Corporation S and they're going to issue 10,000 shares of their common stock at $18 per share for a total amount here of $180,000. So their total investment here in Corporation S or the subcorporation is $490,000. So a uh, Corporation P here buys 80% of Corporation S for the cash plus the stock here equaling $490,000. So doing our arithmetic here, dividing that by 80%, the implied fair value or the total value here of Corporation S or subcorporation is $612,500. So the next thing we have to do is we have to go over here and look at the balance sheet here for the subcorporation S here. And what we do is we have to compare the book value and the fair value for the assets and the liabilities here. So in this case, we're only going to be looking at one adjustment. We have to adjust a property plant and the equipment, and it's for equipment here. We have to increase it from its book value of $420,000 up to the book value of $460,000, the new appraised fair value here. So what we do here is after making our adjustments here, we take our total assets here, in this case it's $580,000, and then compare it with our total liabilities here, in this case $140,000. So let's go over and make our calculations here. So our fair value of our net assets, uh, $580,000 for the assets, less $140,000 for the liabilities, gives us $440,000 here for our fair value of our net assets. So taking, going down here, taking our implied price here of $612,500 for the subsidiary, less the fair value of the net assets here of $140,000, $440, gives us goodwill here of $172,500. So let's go back and look at our balance sheet here. So uh, we've adjusted our equipment up here to its fair value or property plan and equipment up here. But we also, in this transaction, have to record goodwill here of $172,500. So the next thing we have to do is let's go down and we have to develop our uh, d uh, distribution schedule here for this acquisition and consolidation. So first thing we have to do here is our fair value of our subsidiary. Well, the implied fair value we had at $612,500, which we calculated, and that's divided up here between the parent. The parent has $490,000, and that's the price that they actually paid here, $490,000 to the subsidiary. And then the non-controlling interest, the 20% goes to the subsidiary for $122,500. So the next thing we have to do is we have to subtract out this the book value acquired here that's the common stock and the retained earnings that the, the parent acquired from the subsidiary and we can go up to our balance sheet and we've get got that common stock at three hundred thousand dollars here and returned earnings at a hundred thousand dollars coming down to our distribution schedule our total equity would be uh, summing those two amounts here for four hundred thousand dollars and uh, that would be divided up here uh, for the parent would get 80% of that for $320,000. That would be the book value. And the non-controlling interest would get 20% of that $400,000 for $80,000. And then uh, what we're really doing here in this distribution schedule, we're taking this fair value of the subsidiary and comparing it this total equity here of $400,000. And then the excess of the fair value over the book value the difference here uh, would be $212,500. The fair value of the subsidiary is $612,500 less the total equity here of $400,000 gives us $212,500. And that's divided up here. The parent gets 
eighty percent for one hundred seventy thousand dollars, and then the non-controlling interest would get forty-two thousand five hundred dollars here for their twenty percent interest. Now, if we go and look at this excess of the fair value over the book value here, we can also go up to our adjustment schedule here, where in this case uh, our equipment here was adjusted up or the property plan and equipment by forty thousand dollars and they had a uh, life of it was for four years they estimated so the amortization here would be ten thousand dollars per year and then we also have this goodwill here it's a hundred seventy two thousand dollars five hundred dollars but that does not get amortized so our total adjustment here that we have for these assets here is two hundred twelve thousand five hundred dollars and that matches with our distribution schedule. Okay, now let's look at how we'd set up the schedule for non-cash financing and investing activities here. Now remember, this is a supplemental schedule to the consolidated statement of cash flows here, where uh, Corporation P, the parent, and corpora subcorporation S here, the subsidiary, are filing consolidated statements here, and they have to set up their a, a consolidated statement of cash flows here. So let's go up and look at this schedule here for non-cash investing and financing activities. The first thing that would be included in it here is the adjusted value of the assets acquired here, and that was $752,500. Now, if we go up here and look at uh, subcorporations balance sheet, that's the fair value here of the total assets acquired of $580,000 plus the goodwill here on this acquisition here for $172,500. So that would be the total assets here plus the goodwill here for $752,500 here. And the next thing we'd have on our schedule here is the cash that was paid here uh, to purchase uh, the subcorporation as the cash paid by the parent here. And that was for $310,000. So then we'd have our balance here of $442,500, the difference here between the uh, adjusted uh, value of the assets acquired and the cash paid here. Next thing that we would have listed here is this common stock issued and that's for $180,000. That's what the common stock that the parent corporation issued to uh, the subcorporation S here. Next thing we would have is the liabilities assumed here of $140,000. Now if we go up to uh, subcorporation S's balance sheet, we can see that that would be the, the total liabilities here that we had for $140,000. And now going down here to our schedule again, the uh, non-controlling interest would be assigned at the date of acquisition, that would be corporation S or subcorporation. Uh, that uh, interest here would be $122,500. And that, if we move over here to the distribution schedule, that we calculated here as the fair value of the subsidiary, the non-controlling interest portion here, 20%, would be $122,500. So that's how we uh, set up here this schedule for non-cash investing and financing activities. And again, this was based here on a, uh, a Corporation P making a cash purchase plus issuing stock here to purchase uh, subcorporation S. So this would be the uh, supplemental schedule here to the consolidated statement of cash flows.